Okay, so here we go. We are going to be painting the sky into our background. So we're looking at this one. This is the finished piece that um, I've been showing you. This piece is the piece that I was working on yesterday when, um, you know, I was hurrying up trying to film it and the film didn't work. The painting certainly didn't work. Um, the background didn't work. So I'm going to give it another shot and, um, and I'm going to talk about the colors that I used first and foremost. Okay. So here we have, um, we, we're going to start off and I'm going to show you on this blank piece of paper, uh, the colors that I have chosen for my sky. Um, here we go. So we have phthalo blue. So I have a pan. I'm going to show you my pan too. Here we go. Here are my pans. Um, here is just phthalo blue and I have it, uh, I have some water added and it's nice and juicy and wet and ready to go. Also, I have a little bit of phthalo blue, um, right in, you know, the squeeze freshly out of the tube right here, ready to go. So I can actually drop that in a little heavier mixture of the phthalo blue if need be, and I probably will need it. Um, and then over here in this pan, we have, let's see if you can see it, we have, oh, it just looks big and black, but what I do have in here, I have the Windsor Blue Red Shade, I have a little phthalo green, and then also I'm going to add a little bit of permanent rose to get a really deep dark blue, okay? Now, I'm going to um, drop some water right here. And this is basically, this is the same technique that we're, we're going to use um, for the sky. You, we're going to wet this area and then begin floating our pigment right under the, under the um, water. And then it will drift up, okay? Uh, you have the luxury, and so do I, if, if I didn't have the camera on it, to, to manipulate your um, painting and move it a little bit more. But um, I think I'm going to do okay. Um, okay, so I wet this area, and here's our phthalo blue. I'm going to drop it right at the bottom of where the water stopped. Okay, now here is, you know, here is the sky, top of the sky, so you can get that really nice gradated uh, movement. And I'm pulling it up, but you don't have to do that. You can actually um, turn your turn your paper or your canvas, um, you can move it so it floats back up until you, it, it, well, I guess I can do it here too, um, until it gets to the point where you uh, want it to stop. Um, let me, yeah, let's, let's get this really nice and juicy right here. Okay, so imagine this the top of the canvas. And, um, Add a little bit more there, and then I'm going to float it back down. Okay. I'm going to get a clean brush. <laughs> Imagine that. Clean brush, and let's make sure there's nothing. Okay. There you go. So, so you can have it from from here to here, and then move it around. And there you go. Okay. And then we're going to pull it down. We're going to pull it down and add a little bit uh, this other mixture that I have over here. And right here is um, this is the darkest mixture with the um, it has the Windsor blue, Windsor green, and a little bit of uh, the permanent. I put permanent rose in it. Okay, nice. All right. And then let's say we want something in between. And we missed that opportunity because I get heavy-handed. Um, there you go. So that's a that's a tweener. Okay. So we have our our um, phthalo blue. This is Windsor blue, Windsor green, and then a little bit of red right there. So boom, there you have it. Our sky from light to dark. Okay. So meanwhile, I'm going to. 
begin again with some clean brushes and you take a deep breath and get going okay so I'm remixing again because I've already because I had it pre-mixed and now I'm going to add remix to um, have it all ready to go any questions huh no I guess not okay <laughs> here we go now we're going to talk about this painting how why it's not working I was going to try and fix it before I showed you but I thought no I think um, I think this is very beneficial um, seeing seeing how badly I screwed it up yesterday and let's see if we can fix it okay and that's the sound of my jar and my brush and putting a, a little bit more of that permanent rose into that pan so I can mix it mix that in okay um, yeah yesterday rushing a painting is never a good thing unless you're that type of painter where you can paint quickly um, I'm trying to become that type of painter uh, but I guess there's a lot of uh, habits you have to undo you know the detailed habits okay ready to go adding my water to the top of my canvas and pretend like this is all white like years at home I hope and I'm adding my water up here I'm just gonna float it on and again it's warm here so I'm gonna add a little bit more um, if, if this was laying down flat I, I'm sure I'd be adding a little bit more not a whole lot more but a, at least a little bit more than what I have on there now and I'm going to pull it on down and pull it down and of course this may or may not be painted in your painting um, when you do the sky you know we'll talk about that in a sec too so I'm going to just pull some more water there now you want to check the level of how much you know the moisture on your canvas and that's just by leaning leaning in and letting the light hit it a certain way and then you can see how how much water you have on there okay and I believe I have enough it's it's um I wouldn't say it's a high gloss if you were to compare it to you know gloss versus matte versus um, versus uh, a puddle it's it's kind of just a nice little satiny gloss I'm going to go in with my phthalo blue and I know that's dripping don't worry um, I'm not going to worry about that right now I just can't you know because I want to show you the sky and here it, here it is and I'm just going to let that float on up float on up uh, defy gravity and just float up please okay and um, maybe I'll clean my brush one more time get a little bit more water and just keep that nice and keep that an even coat of water so because the phthalo will stain quickly and if you have a if you have a dry area and your brush hits it with that phthalo on it it's gonna um, it's definitely gonna stain unless you you know you're right there with um, oh good I got a hair on there holy moly okay I'm gonna ignore the hair and just keep floating it ignoring the drips okay maybe I won't I'll maybe I'll just kind of pull it a little bit give it a little something right there boom um, yeah, we're going to ignore the drips and ignore these drips. And also with this um, with this back flower, if you want, like I did on this one over here, I just incorporated that in, uh, some of the blue. I did that on purpose over there. This one is just is happening because it's, it's part of um, the water dripping down there. Okay, and then... Now that we've gotten our phthalo blue, I'm going to take a little bit more phthalo blue, drop, 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 drop it in, okay, nice and, yeah, nice and there, I wish it would float for me, ah, okay, and a little bit more water, ah, now we 
overdoing it, but I really wanted it to, to, to float up for you. But again, it's defined gravity. So I'm going to turn it upside down just for a sec, if you don't mind. Or else I'm going to completely have to scrap this one too. Um, here we go. Click, 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 click. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and re-wet the surface and then come back. Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. Now, now I'm happy. <laughs> okay. So a little bit more phthalo blue over here. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let it float up. Nice. Okay. Don't touch. Don't touch. That's the hardest part for me. I just... Oh, I've always wanted to get in there and just keep fiddling with it. Okay, and here it goes. And then I'm going to turn it again, turn it again. Boy, I hope this is getting it on camera. I'm not even bothering to double check that. Yeah, and then again, back, 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 back. Nice. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so we got it. So, whew, we're home free. Okay, nice. So now all I have to do is think about what's going on in here. And it's time to take out the little brush and give it a little something right there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, now this poor white flower in the background's really taking a hit, isn't it? Um, okay. And back here. So now I'm going to detail some of this out a little bit, what's going on in the background. And you can go around this pod. If you have a pod there, you can incorporate it like so. Okay. It's done quick. It's done fast. It's, you know, it it is what it is. And I know you guys are going to be much more successful than me on this because you're going to be able to lay it down. You're going to be able to not be watching the clock, how much film you're using or how much time. So you can download them quicker. So you get to play with um, the background now okay so the great thing about this is that okay I messed it up yesterday I'm messing that one up big time um, but can it, can it be fixed I think so I think I can so I'm gonna let this sit just for a few more seconds and let it just you know give it uh, yeah that looks pretty good um, also Again, so, okay, so yesterday I messed this up pretty good, right? Um, and, okay, I'm going to lift this a little bit. Just give it, a, with a dry brush, I'm going in, tap, tap, just in case this all happens to y'all. I don't think it will, but, <laughs> okay, that's not half bad, <clears throat> that blue on there. Um, and I'm going to incorporate it right into the folds right there. Look how that ran down. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm not hating it. Isn't that funny? Um, I'm going to just pull that over just a little bit. And, yeah. Huh. Okay. Um, so, okay, so yesterday, so I blew this, right? And and it was, I was painting quickly, and I wasn't letting things dry, and I could, really couldn't see what I was doing. I was watching the the camera, etc., etc. Don't touch that. I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah. So, but once it dries, you can go back in and give it another shot. Um, also, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna manipulate this a little bit more back into this flower while it's still wet, and not, you know, it's not so bad. Just for right now, and then once it dries, you can go back in and, and play with it a little bit more. Um, and the, here's the thing, like with our critiques this week, when you hand in your critique and you have your background and let's say there's something that's going on that you're not liking, there's all kinds of ways of um, fixing it and that, and that will be part of uh, the how-to and the, and the critique and, and the demos that I'll be filming, oh, yay, um, for you. and and posting because um because that's what, that's you know that's just something that i think is really beneficial for y'all um okay so so far so good i'm going to um 
I'm going to upload this onto YouTube for you. And um, actually, I want to, while this is still wet, I think I can add a little bit more uh, detail to this nice little pot area. Whoop. Okay, but I have to make myself put the brush down too. I've been, um, I've been having this tendency to, just like this, to overwork. Maybe just hit a couple things quickly and then be done with it. Okay, so there you have it. There's your sky. That's um, that's not looking so bad. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll, you know, we we'll we can see it. Take another peek at it when it's um, when it's dry and when I talk about how to fix a lot of these areas in the background or or not fix them but just add to them. Okay. So their lesson today, sky and don't hurry. You know, hurry, you know, move quickly through this, but don't hurry the background like I did. Take your time because the background, can, you can always go back in, even if it's not done this week. It's something you can always go back and you can let it rest and sit on it and, you know, because you do get tired of looking at it and, and there's like lots of little things that you can do to add uh, to your background to give it more depth. This background um, down here was a poor um, example of how to do it quickly. So, um, yeah, I'm, I, I believe my, my stepping things out and doing it quickly has, um, I keep trying to see how fast I can do it. But, okay, so that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you later. Thanks.